Uh, my name is Sam. I'm an entrepreneur and I specialize in recycling used vehicle tires and turning them into furniture. We started off in 2018 and so far we've recycled over 800 uh, used vehicle tires. We've turned them into chairs, tables and office uh, desks. We're going to continue till the foreseeable future. Why recycling? As evidence, you can see all over Juba that a lot of tires lie all over the streets and mostly they are not properly put into a wonderful use after. So I decided that the best way to help conserve the environment probably is to, to upcycle those tires and turn them into furniture. But it's also a common phenomenon that in most of the quarries in Juba, where there is stone quarry, they normally burn tires to loosen up the intermolecular forces of these stones so that they become very soft to break in the process that emits a lot of toxins into the atmosphere and that can harm the ozone layer because continuous emission of greenhouse gases as we all know can damage the ozone layer and that affects probably the rain patterns and that contributes to climate change and we also see that most of those tires can also get washed into the river nile which is at clock close proximity to to the urban part of juba so by recycling this we reduce the likelihood of these tires getting washed into the water systems that affects the marine life of, of the river. So uh, to try and do that, we feel that it's necessary to recycle this, uh, use vehicle tires into furniture and give them another life. We we'll repurpose, reuse them, and that's what we get. We get furniture out of them. We probably think that in the near future, when we can be able to have a larger farm, can be able to get in some young boys or youth on board and train them on basic skills of how they can be able to also, you know, uh, harness the knowledge that we're going to share with them and they can be able to set up facilities that can um, earn them a source of livelihood. So far I've trained about uh, six guys and continue to work with them. Hopefully in the new future I can be able to set up a bigger farm and can expand the whole training program to, to many deserving uh, young people who are interested in learning how the whole thing is done. Challenges, yeah we do have a lot of challenges. One of those is uh, the financial challenges because most of the machines we use to do the work uh, a lot expensive so that's our biggest uh, challenge for right now i hope that i can be able to you know get funding and and build up a bigger farm have all the, the necessary for facilities in that are needed in terms of the tools that can better the output that we produce and expand the whole thing to other parts of south sudan and then as young people we also see how Juba City Council is so detrimental to young entrepreneurs like me or any other young person out there who's trying to put up a business. So those are the ma major basic uh, obstacles to the work that I do, that climate change is real and all of us has already played a role in terms of how we, we dispose of our, our waste. Probably the way we throw bottles, it's, it's a simple thing to do, but the impact can be so dire. So I'm urging the public to to have a proper waste management system. That starts with you. It starts with how you to, to you dispose of waste. Because when you see over the Nile, especially the plastic bottles, there's a lot of plastic bottles that are amazed on the water systems, and that damages the whole ecosystem. And it also affects us as well. So can we take action? Can we be part of the action and play a role in ensuring that? We have a proper waste management system because once we adapt to a system where we are part of the change that we aspire to be and then we can really have a lot of impact so may we all work together and see that we have a proper ways in which we dispose of any waste could be plastic bottles could be tires could be food that is no longer important can we use the right approaches to dispose of all that we don't want because our environment needs us and we need to keep the environment safe.